Thank you for supporting Boss Content. This video is about a free version of the best thing we ever made. Next year, we'll start to sell a paid version of it. This year, we want some of our favorite clients to try it out and give us some feedback. If you're our client, you probably either own a business or you're completing a graduate degree. Either way, I know you're hearing a lot about the importance of personal branding. If you're in a degree program, the whole point of completing a degree is so you can use it to enhance your personal brand. The goal is not to complete a degree. Completing a degree is one part of building an impressive personal brand. So there needs to be a focus on your overall brand strategy. But most of your colleagues and friends don't really have a clear understanding of brand strategy. Personal branding is a very new thing from the digital age. People haven't caught on yet. So it's easy to do a little bit of work. And after 10 weeks, you can have a very impressive, searchable online brand for your personal brand. It's the most important thing a professional person can do to advance in their career and get a lot of job offers and promotions. That's what the experts say. That's what the research says. And you probably believe it's true. People are competing against you and building impressive brands for themselves online. So you also have to do it. When someone Googles, your personal brand, we want them to see a lot of search results all about you and the work you do. But if you're like a lot of people, you might believe that it's not possible yet for you to have an impressive personal brand. Not until later when you have more experience or more accomplishments in your field. You might think that your personal brand can't be very impressive right now because a lot of your colleagues have so much more experience. But that stuff is not your brand. That's your work history. The brand is not the same as the work history. Branding is an art form. It's something that your virtual assistants at Boss Content Boston are very good at. We know how to do it very well. We're full-time freelancers, self-employed, getting plenty of work because online branding is what we do best for ourselves and for our clients. I'll tell you how to know if you actually have a personal brand. You have a brand when you have done something that makes it easy for people to explain what you're all about. It doesn't even matter if you have any experience. You know that kid Greta Thunberg? She sailed across the ocean to where the UN was meeting because she wanted to tell a lot of world leaders she was getting pissed off about their climate policies. That kid is not old enough to have, to have a lot of accomplishments or experience in her field, but she did something something to show the world what she's all about. And so now she has a brand. So that shows you how you can have an effective brand when you do something. You know, um, when you stand for something, everyone recognizes right away that you're the kind of person an employer wants to hire because not everybody stands for something. Not everybody has that intrinsic motivation. A lot of people just float along and hope for the best. So to build a brand, we start by doing something simple, something that is worth mentioning online. That makes it possible to build a cool brand online that people can find with a search. Here are some examples. You can choose one, something like this, anything that inspires you. Maybe you will be the family nurse practitioner who starts a local community organization um, to spread awareness about the importance of cancer screening. So you can choose something like that. Maybe that's something that you have done a lot of research about. Maybe it's something that is personally important to you. Whatever it is, if you find inspiration from it, you can do something just an hour or two each month and it'll be rewarding. And then it'll be the basis for a great online brand for your personal brand. Here's another example. Maybe you're a home health aide who creates a TikTok channel all about finding seniors who live alone and you create opportunities for them to socialize. Or maybe you're a registered nurse who blogs about nursing theories and examples of how to apply them in practice to improve patient outcomes or patient satisfaction. Another example, maybe you're a nurse manager who uses social media to provide resources for anyone experiencing burnout in healthcare. You see, and people who follow you, they have access to the most up-to-date resources to help them if they're starting to get burnt out. That's another example of some simple thing you can do and it can give people a way to think about you and explain you. That's the basis for a personal brand. One more example, maybe you're a grad student with no experience at all, but even though you have no experience, you can have a personal brand because you do something. And maybe it's something simple, like every month you publish an article to link, you write an article with your comments about some kind of current events or new research findings. 
that are relevant to your professional field. And so people might follow you because they are also working in the same field and interested in the same things. And you are branding yourself as a thought leader and as an overachiever because you're one of those few people who spends time to do something extra. You're inspired about it. You're publishing content online that is helpful for people in your field. So that's how you make a personal brand. It's by doing something. It's going to be fun. It's going to be the best thing you ever did for your career. And it takes your brand to the next level. Choose a problem and do something to help solve it. Even something very simple that doesn't take a lot of time. Or find a way to make a contribution to your profession. Or do something to improve outcomes for the communities you serve. Let's look at a nurse who did some cool online branding. This, uh, this is the Nerdy Nurse brand. So she branded herself as the Nerdy Nurse. If you want a website like this, you can make it happen. We can help you. You can have a website like www.yourname.com. Do it yourself for free, or you can hire us to do website planning or write some blog posts. You can be, you can have a cool online brand like this nerdy nurse brand. And you see, she gets involved with events and organizations. She even takes time to give talks and write some articles. Let's look at another example a nurse who branded herself by helping to create an organization in Chicago for bilingual nurses, chicagobilingualnurse.org. Now you can do something even simpler than this kind of example. How about just publishing some articles to your LinkedIn page or starting a Facebook business page with helpful resources for people in your field? I'll show you a few examples of some articles we published. Here's an article about improving motivation in healthcare. And here's an article about choosing the right words to inspire healthy lifestyle changes in patients with prediabetes. If you were a hiring manager, wouldn't you be a little more impressed with candidates who are motivated enough to publish articles about important topics like these? When you hire us to write articles for your LinkedIn page or blog, we focus on the topics important to you, but you can do the 10 weeks of personal branding without spending any money. Just try our strategies and do something to show employers what you're all about. Keep in mind, your personal brand does not define you. If you build a brand about one thing right now, it's okay to change it to another thing later. Just choose something that you're going to be all about right now. That shows people that you're that kind of person that every employer wants to hire. If you start a brand right now and do something about helping people quit smoking cigarettes, that doesn't mean your brand always has to be about helping people quit smoking cigarettes. Your colleagues might get stuck when they try to brand themselves online because they think they have to figure out what their whole career is going to be all about. But really, none of us know what our entire career is going to be all about. So you just choose something, do something about it, spend a bit of time. That's how you make a brand. You give yourself something to talk about and your brand is not all about you. It's an idea that you're all about. And then you care enough about it to do something about it, anything at all. The 10 weeks will help you brainstorm what you want to do and make it very easy for you to do something worth talking about and then you can have a cool online brand. If you don't want to have a blog or a website, you can just use social media instead. LinkedIn, Reddit, Facebook, share content that helps people solve a problem or achieve a goal. It's a lot easier than it might sound. When you do the 10 weeks of personal branding, you have a lot of options. You can do something you feel comfortable about. So it starts with choosing something you care about, something that will inspire you. What is a specialization or something that you want to do within your profession, something that is on your mind right now, you'd like to do something about it. And you can dedicate a little bit of time just to get something started, post some content about it online, and then this becomes your personal brand following the 10 weeks. If you want to try it, all the information is below. You can have it sent to you right now. Don't think about it until you're ready. There's no need for any credit card information. This isn't like a free trial and then we tell you to pay. This is just something that we give away for free because we want you to get a lot of opportunities, have a great career, and keep hiring us to write for you.